24 megawatt Sukuma small hydro power project on Sabari River at Tilavarti in Dantewada district of Chhattisgarh state. Savitri Power Projects Private Limited is registered under the Companies Act 1956 and is headed by experienced engineer Sri M. Krishna Prasad in association with Sri G. N. Rao as a director. Sri M. Krishna Prasad took his degree in chemical engineering in 1979 from Andhra University and did his post-graduation in plant engineering from REC Varangal, presently known as the National Institute of Technology. For over a decade, he worked in reputed chemical industries in various capacities up to the level of senior executive. In 1994, he joined NCL Group as Vice President of NCL Industries Limited. In NCL, he took up research and development work of pre-laminating Bison Panel, a cement bonded particle board. He succeeded in pre-lamination for the first time in the world and brought out Bison Lamb, a premium product for NCL. He was also kept in charge for introducing ISO quality management systems in cement and boards division of NCL Industries Limited. In 1997, when the NCL group expanded its activity towards hydroelectric field, Mr. Krishna Prasad joined NCL Energy Limited. During his tenure in NCL Energy Limited, he has investigated as many as five hydel schemes in irrigation sources in Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Orissa, out of which two projects were successfully implemented. The first project was 7.5 megawatt hydel project at Potireddipadu head regulator on right main canal of Sri Sailam Dam. This project was completed in a record time of 11 months in the year 2000. The next project was 8.25 megawatt hydel project on right bank high level canal of Tungavadra Dam in Karnataka state. This was a challenging job as the powerhouse is almost hugging the toe of the dam. The job was successfully completed in 10 months time in the year 2004. In the year 2006, he was taken back to NCL Industries Limited as president to look after plant expansion works taken up by the company. Having got profound experience of almost a decade in the hydroelectric field from concept to commissioning, Mr. Prasad had a desire to continue in that field and hence in July 2006, he resigned the job and started his own consultancy in hydroelectric field and has extended consultancy services for the following projects. 6 megawatt Satyagula small hydro power project. 9 megawatt Salandi Dam small hydro power project. 2 megawatt Hemavati high level canal mini hydro power project. With rich implementation experience in NCL, he started executing a few mini hydro power projects on his own. He launched Savitri Power Projects Private Limited in association with entrepreneur Sri G. N. Rao, the promoter of Katya Power Projects Private Limited, as the director of the company. Katya Power Projects Private Limited consists of a team of dedicated personnel having experience in development and maintenance of hydro power projects, both large and small, from water to wire concept, and is extending consultancy services for hydro power projects. Presently, Katya Power Projects is having an operation and maintenance contract of a 10 megawatt hydro power project of Chhattisgarh State Electricity Board for a period of five years, and in its first year of operation itself, are able to generate 31 million units against a target of 20 million units. Some of the projects under various stages of implementation for which Katya Power Projects Private Limited has extended consultancy services include a 2 into 10 megawatt hydroelectric project at Penna Ahobilam Reservoir in Andhra Pradesh. A 4 into 9 megawatt hydroelectric project at Hampi in Karnataka. A 2 into 3 megawatt Birupa small hydro power project on Birupa River in Katak district of Orissa state. 
a chain of four 24 megawatt hydroelectric projects, one downstream of the other, amounting to 96 megawatts on River Sabari, Kolab, in Bastar district of Chhattisgarh. The present scheme of 24 megawatt Sukuma small hydro power project is proposed at Telavarti village of Dantewada district in Chhattisgarh state across Sabari River. The other schemes in the pipeline which are allotted to the company are 21 megawatt Ghamarmund hydro power project on Indravati River, 5 megawatt Ganguta hydro power project on Ganguta River, 1.2 megawatt mini hydro scheme at Gangrel Dam. Highlights of 24 megawatt Sukuma small hydro power project on Sabari River. Sabari is gauged by Central Water Commission CWC at Sardaput in its middle reach. The gauge readings are collected from June 1990 to May 2000, that is for 10 years, for hydrological studies for this project. Flow duration analysis was carried out for the above period and the following is observed. What you see in the chart is the flow in QMAX and the exceedance interval. Based on this, flow duration curve is plotted for the daily flows during observation period. It can be seen from the curve about 145 QMAX is available for about 29% duration in a year and about 70 QMAX is available for 60% of duration in a year. The design discharge for the scheme is therefore taken as 145 QMAX occurring 29% of the time in a year. The present proposal is located on the right flank of the river near Tilavarti village in Dantewada district. It is proposed to generate 24 megawatts of power by utilizing the head due to level difference in the river course from the location of the pickup trench weir to tail race channel located about 2.5 kilometers downstream of the proposed trench weir. A trench weir is proposed across river Sabari with FRL that is crest level plus 184 meters. The tail race is at plus 162 meters. The net head values with percentage of time are shown in the table. Based on these observations, the net head duration curve is drawn. As seen from the curve, the maximum net head and minimum net head are 20 meters and 19.25 meters. When the tailwater level is at plus 162 meters, at FRL conditions, the gross head works out to 22 meters. The loss in conductor system is worked out to 1.3 meters. Deducting the head loss from the gross head, the net head would be 20 meters and the same is adopted as design head for the scheme. The power studies are carried out for the entire observation period considering 90% dependable year and are tabulated. Based on the values in the table, power duration curve is drawn. As seen from the curve, about 24 megawatts is available for about 29% of the time in a year with 90% dependability. Hence, 24 megawatts is taken as optimum power potential of the scheme. Energy dependability studies are carried out for the project and the annual energy during 15 years period is tabulated. Energy available at about 90% dependability with 95% machine availability is 107.61 million units and the same is adopted in financials of the project. Various combinations were worked out to decide on number of units required for 24 megawatts of generation. On techno-economic considerations, two units of 12 megawatts each are found to be suitable as they can fully exploit the maximum power potential available in this scheme. The turbines will be vertical full caplan with adjustable guide vanes and adjustable runner blades. The main parameters of the turbines are turbine rating two units of 12 megawatts each, rated flow 72.5 QMAX each, rated head 20 meters, runner dia 3250 millimeters, 
speed 200 rpm. The scheme will have two numbers of 11 kV synchronous generators of 12 megawatts each, coupled with vertical full Kaplan turbines. The main parameters of the generators are type, synchronous generators, shaft, vertical, speed 200 rpm, output 12 megawatts, overload capacity 10%. The project envisages to tap the flows that are hugging right flank of the river Sabari at Tilavarti village in Chhattisgarh state. The scheme encompasses construction of a trench weir of 100 meters long in Sabari river to divert the requisite water flows to power house down below through a 2.3 kilometer long power canal. The length of the trench weir will be 100 meters and the bed width will be 15 meters with side slopes of 1 is to 1. The river bed level is at plus 184 meters while the bed level of the trench is plus 181.25 meters. The weir is designed for passing maximum flood discharge of 12,735 cumex at a flood lift of 4 meters. From the trench weir, water is taken to the power canal through a regulating sluice. The line channel will have bed width of 15 meters with side slopes of 1 is to 1 with full supply depth of 2.5 meters. The channel will be provided with four numbers of gated silt ejector channels which will help to desilt the power channel. At the end of the channel, a small four bay will be constructed to lead the water flows to the intake structure. The intake structure will have a trash rack to arrest the entry of floating debris into sluice vents. Two sluices are provided in the intake for leading the flows into penstock. Two numbers of service gates of 4.5 meters into 4.2 meters each will regulate the flows into penstocks. Provision for stop lock gates is also made in the sluice. A steel transition of 5 meters length is provided at the end of the sluice to provide transition from rectangular to circular. Each turbine is fed by individual penstocks. The penstock is designed as a pressure conduit with a diameter of 4370 millimeters. The penstocks will be buried type with anchor blocks and root. The length of the penstocks will be 35 meters. The powerhouse structure, 30 meters wide and 20 meters long, will be RCC framed structure. The entire powerhouse building will be on a reinforced concrete raft. The powerhouse accommodates two numbers of vertical shaft turbine generator units to generate 12 megawatts each. The powerhouse will be equipped with EOT crane, repair bay, control room, auxiliary rooms, battery room, etc. as required. At the end of the powerhouse, a draft tube structure is provided to lead the flow into the tail race pool. The draft tube vents are provided with the gates for isolating flows during repairs to turbine, etc. Water emerging out of draft tube is led into a tail race pool of about 35 meters length. The floor of the tail race will have reverse slope to match with the bed of tail race channel. The tail race channel is designed with a bed width of 30 meters for discharging maximum flows of 145 cumex at full supply depth of 2.5 meters. The length of the channel is 200 meters and will lead the flow into the river. The total project cost, including IDC, is estimated as 14,100 lakhs of rupees. The project cost is proposed to be funded in the debt equity ratio of 70 is to 30. Equity by developers would be 4,230 lakhs of rupees, by which